wipe your feet. I just swept that floor. And don't tell me you invited someone to dinner without telling me. But dear, I didn't invite him. He invited himself. What? Just because we're rich doesn't mean that every Tom, Dick, and Harry can invite himself to dinner. Ugh, such a headache on dinner. <laughs> but dear, this is no ordinary Tom, Dick, or Harry. This is Jesus himself, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And he and his friends will be here any minute. The Son of the living God. God, if he, if that were true, the last person who would want to have dinner with is a thieving tax collector like you. Cheers! Liars! Bullies and goats! Jesus is in the Messiah! Zacchaeus, our vertically challenged hero, was the chief tax collector for the city of Jericho, a man who had become fabulously wealthy by cheating on his fellow citizens while collecting taxes for the hated Romans. Well, the yearly April 15th flea sting will soon be upon us. Our annual gouging by the weasel Zacchaeus. That short, slimy, tax-collecting octopus has been getting his tentacles in everybody's pocket. If we ever manage to throw up the Romans, I'm going to boil up a nice vat of tar. I'll bring the fence and we'll drive that greedy money grubber out of town on a rail. But then one day, Jesus passed through Jericho on his way to Jerusalem. Zacchaeus, too short to see him, over the heads of the crowd, climbed up into a sycamore fig tree for a better view. From his leafy vantage point, Zacchaeus could easily see Jesus. And what's more important, Jesus could see him. Zacchaeus, come down from there. I'm having supper at your house today. You know my name and you want to dine with me, a tax collector? Oh, I must go home and tell Millie. <laughs> Just imagine. Jesus knows me by my name. Everybody knows your name, Zacchaeus. We just wish we didn't. by the company you keep. <laughs> if you're hungry, you don't have to sup with the sinners. There's a nice delicatessen right around the corner. <laughs> it's a terrific pastrami.
draw me on rye. <laughs> Jesus would not be swayed. For some reason, he insisted on going to Zacchaeus' house for supper. Meanwhile, dinner preparations were not proceeding smoothly at Zacchaeus' residence. I know you're desperate to make somebody like you, Zacchaeus, but schmoozing with lowlifes isn't the answer. But dear, please bring something to eat. Jesus and his friends will be here any minute. Oh, all right. I'll fix a snack for your fine feathered friends, but I expect you to count the silverware before they leave. I am getting a migraine thanks to you. My humble abode, Jesus. My wife is in the kitchen preparing a little something to eat. But while we're waiting, I'd like to make an announcement. Here we are, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for everybody to go. <laughs> yes, well, um, thank you, dear. As I was saying, over the years, I've collected more taxes from the Jews than were acquired by the Romans. And that's how I became rich. I cheated my own people. But today I'm putting that behind me. You're what? You heard me, Millie. I'm going to give half my wealth to the poor. And I intend to repay all the people I cheated by giving back four times the amount I stole from them. <laughs> Gosh, I guess we'll have to cut back on a few luxuries. But it might be nice being married to a tax collector who isn't a liar and a cheat. Jesus came to save us from ourselves. 